Hey there, baseball fans. I'm Ben, and looky what we have here. 1992 Fleer Baseball box. I've taken quite a few packs out of here, but we're going to break a bunch of these today and see what we can find. 92 Fleer is a very nice set, in my opinion. I hate the cello packs, but I do like the feel of the cards, the inserts, and photography, and all those other kind of things. So. New Tamper Evident Poly Wrappers is what it says on the box here, which, great, thanks. Well, just what I was looking for. I mean, like, maybe I'm just being naive here, but were people really concerned about people tampering with the packs in 1992, especially of the Fleer base set? So, in any case, look at that, Nolan Ryan right off the bat with his seventh no-hitter, record-setting no-hitter. This is horribly off-centered, which is kind of odd for this set, but that'll go right in my personal collection. It's always nice to start off, and I'm also looking for some, some of my Cubs favorites. Ryan Sandberg, Mark Grace, and Sean Dunson, my all-time favorite. So, let's see if we can pull any of those cards out of these packs. Look at that, there's a Bo Jackson. Showing his rear side pretty closely. There's Tom Glavin, league leader. National League's most winningest pitcher. There's Wayne Kirby that we learned a little bit about in one of our previous videos. I say we, assuming that you're with me. Not because I have a whole team of baseball card workers here. It's just me opening packs like I would do anyway. But I figure I might as well open them on camera so you can share in that joy. There's Greg Maddox right there. Let's see what his fingers look like. Oh, circle change. I do love looking at the picture, the pitcher's grips to see what pitch they're throwing. Just because it's fun. Barry Larkin and Kirby Bucket. Power packs. And Jim Abbott in there. Let's barrel right through these things and see if we can find anything else that's interesting. Oh, I see an insert. Let's save the suspense here. There's Harold Baines, Hall of Famer. So we don't know what that insert is until we get to the very end. I like surprises. And this is going to be one. I'm going to guess it's Roger Clemens' insert, but it might be one of those all-star ones. There's Kirby Puckett. George Bell, playing for the Cubs. And, no, oh, it's Will Clark. Fleer All-Stars insert. Very nice card. I like those inserts, those are good. I'm not pulling it out though, so whoever I give all these common cards to will be like, whoa, I got a Will Clark insert. Or they'll be like, yep, another one of those Will Clark inserts. There's Jim Tomey. Not very balanced on that right foot there, Jim. Is that a... Yes, a Jim Tomey rookie card, no less. So that's great. What was Scott Erickson, a league leader in AL's winningest pitcher? There you go. In 1991, there's Vince Coleman. Put him aside for some reason. Howard Johnson, we learned about last time. And Ricky Anderson, stolen base record. Man of steel. Clever pun there. Nice work, Fleer. These are certainly tamper evident packs. If you tamper with them, it's going to be evident. There's Kyle Ripken and Joe Carter, known as the Indispensables 2. Jack Morris, Hall of Famer there. Let's see what we see about his hands. Probably just a fastball there. Four seam. Carlton Fisk taking charge as he is wont to do. Another great catcher, Gary Carter. Ken Apier, you know, whatever happened to that guy? Looks a little lost there. from Lancaster, California. Let's take a look at him in a minute. See what happens to Kevin Apier. 
I think I'm saying it right, but who knows? It's been a long time since I've heard that name spoken out loud. Oh, look at that. Sean Dunstan. Woo-wee. There's my favorite player. So that'll be nice to add to my collection. I've got a plenty of these already from him, but I just like to open these up and find those players that I'm looking for. Reminds me of when I was a kid, and it was a big deal when I pulled them out because I didn't have much money. I wasn't opening very many packs. So Sean Dunstan right there to add to the collection. Can't wait to show you guys what that looks like in another video. Paul O'Neill, start this one up. Well, it looks like we got another insert. I'm guessing that this one is going to be a Roger Clemens. And it is Roger Clemens career highlight. Business as usual. Number eight in the set there. Put that aside. Barry Larkin, the Hall of Fame caliber player. Teenage Sensations, Ramon Martinez and Ozzy Guillen. All right, so just to recap, we got a Nolan Ryan record setter, we got a Sean Dunstan for me, and then we've got all these stars of Barry Larkin, Roger Clemens insert, Paul O'Neill, Carlton Fisk, Jack Morris, Cal Ripken Jr., Ricky Henderson, Vince Coleman, Jim Tomey rookie, Kirby Puckett, Harold Baines, Kirby Puckett and Barry Larkin, Greg Maddox, Tom Glavin, and Bo Jackson. Not a duplicate in the, in the mix, so really good set of solid players. But we're going to have to find out what happened to the Royal pitcher, Kevin Apier, even if he looks a little befuddled in this video. We're going to find out if he spent the rest of his career like that. So. All right. There he is, American baseball player. Got a lot of rookie accolades in 1990. Fastball, tight slider, and nasty forkball. Impressive pitching statistics. Actually, one of the top right-handed starting pitchers throughout much of the 90s. That's good. Cy Young Award contender in 93, and he made it to the All-Star team in 95, so good for him. Starting pitcher on the World Series champion Angels in 2002. That's a much better career than I would have expected. He pitched from 89 to 2004, 169 and 137 win-loss record, so above average there. Uh, 3.74 ERA with almost just shy of 2,000 strikeouts. That is surprising and phenomenal. Kevin Apier, I had no idea. And he's in the Royals Hall of Fame. Let's just see here if we can get to the end. Flexor tendon injury and eventually released at the end of July. Missed 2004, briefly retired, came out of retirement. Failed to make the team and then retired that year. And then came out for reinstatement. 10 games with the Tacoma Rainier, Rainiers. Oh, Tacoma Rainiers. Um, not looking so good. Asked for and was granted release. Officially retiring in 2006. All right, so all we have is baseball stuff here. But I got to tell you, I am surprised and impressed because I had no idea that Kevin Apier ended up being as good as he was here. I guess because I kind of got out of the card game, baseball card game, around 92, 93, and he had his best years to come after that. But um, good for you, Kevin. Hats off to you for having a successful career in the bigs. And uh, hope the rest of your life was just as good. The rest of you, see you next time.